No, 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 no. How many of you have heard your child say no, no, no? Regardless if they're a toddler, they're a preschooler, or that five, six year old, they are always gonna be exerting their authority, their, um, their understanding of rules, you know? What do I, what happens when I say this word? What's the reaction from the adult or my caregiver? So this is a child's way of really trying to exert that authority, making themselves feel like, yes, they're part of this decision and they can assert their independence and autonomy. So how do we as adults try and engage cooperation when we really need a child to do something? So in that moment, I've always, and I've spoken about this before, to offer choices. So acknowledging you really don't want to you know, eat right now, it's important to eat. We need to take medicine if that's the case. So state your expectations and offer a choice. Would you like this or this? Now, if that choice didn't work and the child kept saying no, 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 a great thing that I've discovered is using visual cues. So I went to the fridge and I physically put two items in front of the child and I said, would you like to have this one or this one? You choose. Now the child decided that they didn't want any of those, but they did make a choice on what they did want. So using those visuals, whether it be a towel in front of them because they need to get ready for a bath or clothes to get dressed, use the visual cues, it really helps.